Hello, I'm Will. I'm a product manager here at Census. And today I'm very excited to announce that Census is launching Census Embedded. Census Embedded allows anybody to offer reverse ETL capabilities within the product to power their business. It allows you to take your data that you have and push it into your customer's business applications. It allows agencies to do audience management at scale for all of their customers. And it can also allow for SaaS platforms to offer data ingestion from the 25 plus different data warehouses that we offer. I'm going to give a quick demo here of a demo application that we have that shows how Census Embedded works and why you might want to use it. So this is a bit of an example company, T Research International. This is a company that is a data provider. They sell data to their customers and their customers are tea producers. Now these customers have very specific data needs. They need to know the price of tea at, over time and they need to understand who's buying tea today. And historically, let's say they have done so by looking into trends and this dashboard and tracking things. Um, but that means that the T information data is, is locked away inside of this application and is not available where they do their work, right? They do their work inside of their CRM or they actually try to advertise to potential purchasers. And so today with Census Embedded, they're actually able to level up the value of the product by offering these integrations natively. So we'll go over here to the CRM tab and you can see we have Salesforce and HubSpot. And all they have to do is go ahead and enable, in this case, we'll do HubSpot. The customer sees an interstitial here. They flow through, they get the HubSpot OAuth flow. I'm going to go ahead and authorize this HubSpot account. And then they get sent back to the Census Embedded flow. This is showing that it's powered by Census. And we're going to just do a quick test here and then they'll get actually sent right back to the application. So here they are back in TV search for national, and then they can actually go ahead and this is all up to you. But in this case, there's a company sync and a contact sync. I'm going to go over actually to census itself. And you'll see here, we don't have any destinations in this census workspace yet, but if I refresh the page, there actually is a HubSpot destination that has been created. And so what actually happened over the hood is your end user was able to authenticate a HubSpot destination without ever actually having to create a HubSpot account. And this is very powerful because now you can actually go in theory and you can create a sync between these two sources, but instead you can actually do it programmatically via our API. And that's exactly what's going to happen here when I enable the company sync. And you know what? I'll enable the contact sync too. You'll see the sync start running and this is all powered via our API. And if I switch back into census, you can see that we automatically created two syncs on the back end and they're running. And if I go into them, they're actually complete. So there's a very small sync, only one rec source record. But in theory, we actually pushed a HubSpot contact and company on behalf of our customer into their actual HubSpot account. And this is relatively valuable data for them because this is a real company. We have information about that real retailer and we're able to enrich that data for the customer directly inside of their CRM. Going over the ad platform real quick. I'm just going to show that you can also use this for any kind of our destinations that we support. Facebook in particular is an interesting one because as they go through the authorization flow, you'll see that when we come back into the Census Connect flow, you actually have to select an account. And so I'll just go ahead and authorize one of them. But we take care of all the complexity for you under the hood. Back into TV Search International, and you can see it's connected. And if I go into Census, here, you can see the Facebook ads destination has been created. So that was a super quick demo of Census Connect. If you would like, you can actually go and check out the docs for Census Connect and get to that from developers.getsensus.com. And lastly, all of the code for our demo app is open source. So if you want to go and browse that, you can and get started. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I'd be happy to help you. Thank you.